I'm standing here on quite a cold uh, Welsh hilltop, and behind me is a real, a real world first. This is a, a, a customer-owned wind turbine that we're seeing being constructed here today. That is a 75, 76 metre high tower. We've just seen it all being put together. It's absolutely amazing thing to witness. Those cranes are quite big, let me tell you. So. We're going to find out more about it. This is run by Ripple Energy, which is a, a, a kind of like a crowdfunding way of building wind turbines so that everyone that's invested in it gets to benefit from it in the, in the long run. So we're here. This is the Welsh Hills. That is an amazing wind turbine being built here. And this is the Fully Charged Show. Fully Charged Live is back and bigger than ever. Get your tickets now to the world's number one electric vehicle and clean energy live show. Featuring all manner of electric vehicles, tons of test drives, live theatre sessions, interactive home energy experiences, and so much more. See you there. It is, it is so, so exciting and just being able to see I haven't been able to touch it yet, but, no. but yeah, in future I'll be able to touch it. It is just incredible. It's a huge, huge milestone and we've all been working so hard to make it happen and to actually see it now. And the members are just so excited to make it, just to see it in, in, in the flesh. So yeah, it's amazing. What, what brought you to this, this location? So we, we, we were looking for already consented wind farms. So we don't develop the wind farms ourselves. So, so we went out and we looked for, okay, what's a good sort of size? What's a good sort of starting, um, you know, not, not too big. Um, what, what's a good size? So, so we found this site and then we got exclusivity on it. And that gave us then the opportunity to sort of secure it. And then we could set up the co-op and, and, and get it funded over, um, yeah, a relatively um, long period of time. Can you give us a quick rundown of the size of it? The, two and a half megawatt Vensis turbine. It's got a hundred meter rotor diameter. So each blade is just under um, 50 meters long. And yeah, it can generate around sort of 7,000, uh, just under 7,000 megawatt hours each year. And we, and we passed them on the way up here. It was very impressive to see them on the trucks. I mean, they look very, very big when they're going along the road. Well, I, I've not seen them yet. So oh, very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> but yeah, we just can't wait to, um, yeah. Yeah, to have them come up the hill and just be put onto the um, on, onto the hub and then they'll get lifted onto the um, tower tomorrow. Right. So by the end of this week then they'll the, it will look like a finished turbine but you've still got to connect it to the grid. Absolutely so so yeah by the end of tomorrow fingers crossed it'll all be um, up the blades will, will be ready it will look like a, a turbine um, and then we've got to get it connected to the grid um, which we're expecting to do in, in the next sort of few weeks it'll be sort of uh, uh, early next year that, that, that it will start generating and once it starts generating that's when all the owners will start seeing savings on their electricity bill and so the plant the longer term plan then is to recreate this to do it again with other other wind farms so we're already planning um to launch a much bigger wind farm that's going to be in scotland in in the new year um and that can be owned by thousands of um th thousands right. of different households uh, and then we are also part of an offshore wind consortium the next gen consortium so that will enable hopefully in future um, that will enable individual households to part own a large-scale wind farm as well which is just incredible because those projects are just massive so it won't be the whole thing yeah. the co-op will be um, a sort of you know minority owner but it will just prove that you can have individuals being part of really, really massive, um, massive projects. So the ownership model then for this is so different. I've never come across anything like it before. I mean, it is, it is can you explain how, how that works? Yes, it, this is the UK's first ever consumer owned wind farm so it's the first ever wind farm that is owned by the people who, who will be supplied with its electricity so there are more than 900 members of the co-op that own the wind farm and when it's operating um, they, they all own different numbers of watts of, of the wind farm so if you own a thousand watts of the wind farm you get the electricity that that thousand watts generates each month and then you get the savings related to that applied to your bill so um yeah, there are other energy co-ops around, but the real difference with Ripple is that the owners and the members of that co-op, they get the electricity. We can't guarantee it's the exact same electrons no. that go into the grid that but come out. it's the out. same amount of electrons. Exactly. Yeah. That's a really, really important point. Um, so, yeah, but it's the UK first. It's probably a world first. Um, but, yeah, it's a really, really um, important moment, I think. For, um, and what that's going to do then for those individuals is reduce their, their power bills over the year. Absolutely. So, so on average, um, we expect the savings to be around sort of four or five pence per, per kilowatt hour over the wind farm's 25 year lifetime. But at the moment, because electricity prices are so high, um, 
it's more like sort of um, just, just over eight pence a kilowatt hour. So it's a really huge saving. And so it, it helps stabilize people's bills. So when the electricity price is really high, people's bills will be higher, but their savings will be higher, which right. just really help stabilize um, them. So the net effect is that you get much, much stable prices and you're protected um, against really high um, spikes in, in, in prices. So I can see that now, having been up the hill, it is quite steep. I wouldn't want to ride a bike up there unless it was an electric one. <laughs> but so, that, so this truck then on its own would not be able to manage to get up there. Absolutely. So we've brought in some transport specialists and there's a very large vehicle that's up there now and he's getting ready to come down. So he's been loaded up with crane ballast on the back to really weigh down those wheels. So we've already taken up some very heavy components, yeah. as you can now see from yeah. the bottom of the hill. Nothing quite as long as this. this is so it's different, different challenges. Right. So with the big heavy ones, it was weight pulling it back down the hill. But with these vehicles, these blades, they're massive. It's only about 12, 13 tonnes in total which isn't an awful lot when you've got so many axles. So here are the challenges to get enough traction right. down on the axles. So they'll be jigging it around, lifting some of them up, leaving others down to make sure there's enough drive and traction on the ground to help pull it up. Yeah, wow, that is amazing. And you've had to tarmac some of the slope because it's so steep. That's it, that's it. So we're getting up to 18% gradient on the hill there, right. which is very steep yeah. for a uh, wind turbine construction. But the other thing I noticed is they are quite sort of grubby. I mean, they're kind of green. They've got a lot of green moss on them. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So clearly they're stored outside because they're so massive. And this one is, this is at the end of the line. Right. You know, a hundred meter rotor for modern turbines isn't that common anymore. Which is amazing, isn't it? For one tower to do 2,000 houses is, is very Well, that's it. I mean, one, one swoosh of the rotor right. would generate enough power for one house, an average house for about eight hours. Wow. So you can stand there and watch go eight hours, 24 hours, brilliant. So I think what Ripple Energy are doing here is truly groundbreaking. I really, really, I'm really impressed with it. It's so exciting, as you can see, the blades have now arrived, all three of them. They've been driven right across the country. They're going to be taken up the hill and attached to the, to the nacelle, which is the box on the top of the tower, and the generator thing that goes on the front, and then we go <laughs> generating electricity. I mean, it is amazing, and it just will do it for the next 25 years minimum. And so people who've invested in this are really going to benefit, and it does seem very tempting to me. I mean, have a look at the Ripple Energy page. I think it's worth having a look. You know, because that would mean, here's a very quick way to reduce your, your energy bills for the next 25 years. Because I think quite a sensible investment. Anyway, that's all from us. Uh, please have a look at all the normal things. The Patreon link, do have a look at the Patreon link. Our Patreons are really what makes this show possible to make. And we're covering as many different topics in the world of electric, ground transportation, and the future of uh, the energy system in the world. Not just this country, in the world. Tell your mates about it, because we're doing some amazing shows and we've got a lot more coming up. Uh, do subscribe to our Fully Charged channel. Have a look at the Fully Charged uh, YouTube membership offers. It's all going to be very exciting. We've got live shows coming up next year. Amsterdam in March, uh, Farnborough in the UK in uh, April and May. So keep an eye out for that. We'll be yabbering on about that endlessly. But as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that episode, you're going to love this one. And this one, too, is very relevant to the topic. And also, if you want to subscribe to Fully Charged, which is a wonderful thing to do, really helps us, costs you nothing, you just click up there. It's really simple. And if you do want to support us a little bit more, you can have a look at the Patreon link. That's up there. Thank you. <laughs>